What's going on guys? Jeremy here, Kentucky Wash Pros. Wanted to do a walk around on my 2023 pressure washing trailer build. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it and I'm not gonna keep you, so here we go. We'll turn it around and let's get started. All right guys, here's what we got. 2023 Gator Made, seven by 12. It's like six, 10 by 12. Dual axle, dual brakes. So we'll just start right here in the front and get going. So up front, you know, we've got this tractor supply toolbox. It isn't full of anything yet, but we do have, I bought this 75 foot uh, zero G professional grade, three quarter inch for some extra. Gotta get this mounted and I got my sludge sucker. We're gonna fill this up. Up to the fun stuff, IGX 800. And we got the TSF 2221 10 gallon minute pump on that one, belt drive, Predator 670 with the TSF 2021 eight gallon. Uh, show you this right here. Most people have trouble with their uh, pumps or their fuel pump and stuff, keeping suction, getting prime. Add you one of these marina grade fuel bulb primers onto your hose and you can prime it and it makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, this space right here is empty for the moment because uh, there will be a water fed hose reel right here. Uh, it's, it's already got, we just got to get it mounted. It's actually too small to fit so we got to weld another plate in. But just to kind of show you what we got, the plumbing is all ran with two inch PVC tucked under it's really really clean and when we do we come off with the t right here reduce it down to one inch over here and then we come off that elbow and reduced it down to one inch for the 10. Uh, i have no problems with water supply with one inch going to the machine feeding it with a two inch dump valve right here which actually I need to close that now we got our 18 inch electric hane hose reel 250 feet of hose we're going to add probably another 100 feet onto this just to have for extra we come up we got our 10 gallon mount and this is just straight for generally surface cleaning so no bypass no injector i always like to use quick connects on everything but uh this one is swiveled twisted in here's the eight gallon running up um it is quick connected. Everything's quick connected for ease of changing injectors and everything. What I want to show you real quick is even the uh, unloaders are quick connected, both of them, in case I ever need to take them off. And the whip lines, quick connect. I'm a firm believer in quick connects, but uh, over here on this side, here's our bypass lines that run up and over. Um, like I said, here's the Flow Pro and it works great i put these caps on here because last year i noticed that i was having some dripping on my setup last year and this has stopped this so thanks joe for showing this this was joe derry's ideal uh, i actually blew the o-ring out of this one earlier but this one don't leak this one will leak for some reason um, but everything's coming over there's flow pro my water fill line going up to my hudson float valve up there we got this 36 inch job box from rural king inside we've got our old crap kit with some hose uh o-rings some quick connects we've got our m5 twist over here we got our wash down gun we got our red gun we got some tape a few little tools over here remotes 112 volt batteries powering every bit of this and here's the motherboard relays go into the washers this goes to uh, my reels my transfer pumps a uh, couple other things and we're going to have plenty of room to add on lights we're going to add all that on there over here we've got a 12 inch stack two 12 inch stacked and a hose reels this is my water supply flexilla three quarter inch we're going to be adding another 75 foot on there so we'll have 175 feet so it's just plumbed in right now comes down and goes over here i don't know if you can see it to my strainer to uh, filter all the water going in 
and then up here we've got our 200 and roughly 50 feet of half inch carry tech on this water bus water boss half inch wash down gun love this gun if you see my videos you know i love this gun um, we will be probably taking the spring off putting a plate in here and having a, a four-way or two-way um, selector like this for the water so this will be coming off this filter over here to this splitter and then i can decide whether the water goes to the tank up to the tank or goes to the uh, water fed post system uh, that's the last thing we've got to really do step back and show you my signs this is what we went with was with the black with the white just kind of goes with the truck uh, only thing i really regret about the truck is not is the blue lettering i wish i would have just went white lettering so we may change that run it like it is for now but that's what we got these are roughly 12 foot long eight inches tall so we're going to come over here put us another sign but before i get too far here is my 12 volt transfer pump it goes to my transfer there's a drop stick just bring it over and put it in the tank or whatever fill it up makes life pretty easy doing that right now i just have it on this plug which this will be hardwired in when i get my switches in to mount my rocker panels my rocker switches over over here so that's how we're doing it now over here on this we've got the vise let's mount it right here probably will be securing the water fed post system either over there on that side or probably maybe right here to make things easy um bleach tank water tank i got my water tank secured with these d rings goes up and over uh, leaf blowers kind of tucked in here under the gas roof pump i kind of like that uh, anyways here we are predator 212 ran it last year uh, ar30 gas roof pump about nine and a half gallons a minute works great we're floating at about 41 hours which is uh, not that much at all so here's this little valve that goes on these is like an extra relief valve so uh, it just comes out and dumps over here so we can take the pressure off of it when we're starting or shutting it off uh, if we open this then it's pretty much the same thing as being on the trigger when you're shutting your machine off or starting it so this is my manifold system set up that i build uh, i would like to take a little more time and adjust it and here comes a big loud truck so we got this uh, one inch cam line going over to the tank and I'm using a bulkhead because I had it with a drop stick with a bulkhead before and it kept losing suction. So I switched over to the unisil, but where the bulkhead was drilled out, the unisil was too loose. So I went back with the bulkhead and just cut the inside of that bulkhead out with a drill, drill bit and just flush this down into my, um, push that down into my tank with a big one inch slotted PVC filter. So this is uh, this is my system, like I said, one inch manifold. Uh, soap valve is half inch and you, so it's not hooked up, but just because I don't usually run a soap tank, I may use it for a, a degreaser, but I just put my soap in my bleach and 55 gallons of bleach. I use maybe eight ounces of soap, maybe 10. But this is pretty straightforward going in and everything. This is your bleach coming in to your three-way, remote three-way, your water coming in. And then this is what comes out over here and goes through. Uh, I just split my water tea off, one inch water line, feeds them both. And then I got three quarter inch, uh, 26, uh, 26 feet. You must say, why is it 26 feet? Because they already had a cut a section 26 foot so i just took the whole thing set of 25 feet um extra gas can for the gas roof pump mike if you watch it it ain't that hard just to carry a gas can buddy okay we appreciate it thanks for all you do just kidding buddy love you uh 12 gallon over here we got this uh dual splitter feeds both machines 
um, if you haven't already if you run one of these just go ahead and snip that little vent filter make your life a lot easier my buddy Paul told me that he runs ready clean he's got a YouTube channel as well so this is uh, not a Carlton caddy this is my caddy with my stuff sitting down in it probably not the greatest to have everything in here but you know what it's not like airtight by any means it just is a easy way to keep things together um that's like 10 bucks um so here we are we got the we're back at the front uh, that's about it really I'm gonna have a surface cleaner rack here i don't know if i'm gonna do it like mike's sticking up or if i'm gonna come off of here and hang it down i'm not real sure still laying that option out I may even hang it across the front i don't know but anyways guys this is my 2023 pressure washing trailer build i just want to share it with you uh, i appreciate your comments or feedbacks in the bottom what would you do different would you change anything let me know oh also by the way you've probably seen the videos but if you've not seen the build videos this is just a black uh, fence paint from tractor supply and it's held up wonderful i had a hard time getting in between some of the cracks but i'm sure i'll be painting it again next year i'm not going to worry about it but it's working out great 330 gallon ibc tote not a 275 so anyways guys this is it i just wanted to give this to you i appreciate uh, appreciate y'all watching give me a thumbs up subscribing to the channel i really i really do appreciate it anyways we'll get you some more wash footage in the next few days